Good ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's me and Will again, and we're actually going to play a few more games that are available on the PlayStation Network. Now, this one isn't a PlayStation Plus title. Uh, this is a demo that's available on either the American or UK stores. I think this is actually in the American store, and it's for a game called Bound. Do you know anything about this no. game, Will? I have no... I have nothing. Okay, so Bound was one of those titles that was never was originally announced. was announced to have some PSVR compatibility with it. Sure. So what I know about it is that it's um, an artisanal platform action game that involves dancing. Right, so this is not based on the film starring uh, Jennifer Tilly and Gina Gerson? No? no, 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 it is not. Sadly, no, it is not. It's not based on the uh, the BDSM manual book as well called Bond. I'm going to be disappointed in this then, aren't I? Well, you <laughs> may be disappointed, you may be entertained, but um, I know a little bit more about this, so I've seen it in, in action, but I wouldn't mind seeing what your reaction is, so uh, let's boot this bad boy up. Let's bound on the bound. And if you want to see Starwall, which we actually played together as well, <laughs> it'll be up on the channel either before or after this. But it's uh, essentially a sneak peek that you just got there of oh, actually okay. what of that of that multiplayer mayhem that we had. Oh, that was weird. It was a good. It was good fun. It though. was fun though. Is that the manic? This we video? have fun. We have fun. Play plastic. 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 <laughs> Pla that was not plastic. Uh, no, it was a, the S was a bit all over the shop. Oh, that's. It was thermal melting rather than thermal setting. Okay. Right. Start options. PlayStation VR? Yeah, so that's why this game actually had, uh, you could play this game in VR, because it's kind of like a third person game. So, uh, yeah, invert camera axis, X, Y, camera sensitivity, VR camera mode. So you can have it stationary, or it'll follow or move with whatever your headset was. Uh, kind of like, you know what Silent Hill used to do, where it would just have a static angle and look at you as you ran through a section of the level? Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I mean by stationary. Okay. And then camera height, so that measured for if you were standing up or sitting down or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch. And edge guard, I think, is to tell you to stop you from actually, like, smacking your head off of things, because it'll read whether or not you're <laughs> on the edge of the room. In terms of there, aye. So, uh, good thing I'm not playing this, or I would fall to the... Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, well, that's one, that's one of the reasons why we actually have this new setup in the studio, is because I would love to get into VR gaming, because we actually have a really good space for doing that AR thing, where uh, one person's wearing the headset, but everybody looking at the screen can see what's behind them in the actual game as well. But yeah, um, I don't. I wouldn't trust that with all the people around. I just, I just you just don't. Somebody I, would trip I, me. I don't think you just, you just trust anybody that's outside of your helmet if you're war playing that anyway. Uh -huh. There we go. Nice windows uh, backdrop there. Sunset. Bum 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 bum. Intel inside. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's very nice. It is. The, this game is gorgeous from uh, my experience so, of it. So she's a uh, head Digimon then. Yes, she would be the the head Digi Destined. Yep. Um, okay. Obviously, speaking in Digiton. <laughs> a monster is destroying my kingdom. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but the weed whacker or something? I wouldn't stop him! <laughs> That's it. So it said you are. And you disappear through a hole. Yeah, and you are oh. the soldier for the queen. And that's you. And that's the gameplay that's started. The hell is that about? It's because the the character's idle animation. If you notice, all the, the character moves uh, like a dancer, like a ballet dancer, the entire time. So all button presses and movements are all uh, maneuvers and mocap dance maneuvers. Okay. So just try different That's buttons. That's quite and interesting. Thing. Yeah, it's it just it, this already looks gorgeous as it is, pirouetting on a single foot. You got your rarely ribbons. Yeah, I hit the R two there. Give me uh, a few. Um, what the hell that is? Force I don't know. It's like, like almost like probably probably is a shield for defending yourself. This is a actually dance and jump from place to place. It is quite a very artistic, beautiful game. Yeah, I mean, essentially, uh, like, even from the lighting and shading, it, this is the kind of game that looks good if you actually paused it and took a still frame of it. This is a game that looked really good in reviews because every freeze frame of it, it looks wonderfully epic. I do this. like all the stones. The stones are moving around me. It's very... Not those ones off in the distance, but I mean like the ones They're almost like a wheel that I'm water. walking on, mm -hmm. like the footpath. Now, here's the question, if I fall down there, will I die? <laughs> <laughs> well, like most games, uh, it's trial and error, man. You got your tumbles and your turns, and your jumps and your falls. Weird. Wait, was that going to build in front of me, or is it... Well, it's just moving stuff ahead of you, or moving stuff across the, uh, the block river. Huh? Yeah, mo the minute I move, I get the feeling it's gonna close. No. Oh, no. Okay. Right. 
and the game titles actually come up there bound as well. That's great. I just gotta assume I'm still walking forward and not gonna fall off this thing. Yeah, I mean that's essentially the orientation thing. It gets people whenever you're actually like you move a camera away from them. It's the reason why the Silent Hill games and stuff always had that static angle because you could only you, people were like only contextually understand how to move themselves in terms of where the camera angle is. Meanwhile, now a lot of games can like will shift camera angle, but moving forward will always move forward. Just taking the perspective of the of the character rather than actually of the player. <laughs> just having fun dodging behind those. Just walking through these things, yeah. But I think it's more the fact that actually for visibility sake. Do you want to go through the cheesy fries? Well, I'm trying to badly swim through it. And I am... Um, I wonder if R2 will do something now. Or will that... No, it doesn't seem to knock anything out of the way. No, but it seems to be the longer I hold it down, it builds up some sort of... Power? Yeah, but other than that, it doesn't really... I imagine it is really shield for shield's sake if you actually are getting attacked by something. But, uh, because it looks like that kind of thing where it would actually whip around and actually block things from the hitting you. The only problem is, it is actually slowing me down from moving. Yeah, uh, remember, our sticks on my controllers are a little bit, so push it up. If you lift it up, like, with the underside, it'll actually probably let you move faster again. That's a bit better. Yeah, th that's what it is, because uh, my, my R2 buttons jam, I need to replace those. Oh. <laughs> yeah. here's, here's the thing. I'm walking on that. Push to the right, forward, push to the left, forward, push back. You know, I'll tell you to go back, there's but no, uh, there's no jump. I can't. Okay, maybe I can. <laughs> you had to test it. You had to test it. I had to test that. It was, uh, yeah. And you can press L2 to run. It wasn't fucking letting me run before. Well, just you learned how to do it now. Oh, that's a, that's a skip. That's not run. Well, I mean, essentially, it's a higher paced dance step. So that's something that just like went past the window there. I like the fact that silhouettes and stuff, like if you see that, it's actually the silhouette of the character. Yep. Nicely designed. There's obviously something up there in the hills. Yep. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, fool. oh, right. There's a, there's, I'm assuming, what, some sort of ladder. <laughs> That'll help. And it's actually, there's a beat to the music. Oh, that is just some freaky ass shit. That's kind of cool. I, li I like that whenever it's actually like uh, almost a game to the beat of the music. It reminds me of a little bit. I don't know why it reminds me of um, Total Wipeout and the sort of basic sort of levels and made out of block. Okay, walk across the thing. Stop rolling around the wall like you're kind of. Dry hump it. Yeah, but that's the point. Like every single movement, if you're not actually forcing to move at speed, she'll actually like it'll be like a, almost a dance or an interpretive step that she'll take. That's why she was like rolling along the walls rather than actually like skipping along. See? I, li I like that. It's kind of like a, there's a reasoning behind her movement that we don't understand, but it makes it look weird in a way. It's like the same reason why if you watch people doing like kind of like uh, interpretive dances or like thematic dances that are actually not quite. Kind of reminds music. me of the chick at the party that's had so much to drink, but she's not. Oh, what's that? Yeah, it's just floaty things. Floaty things. That's really drunk, but she's really h happy drunk, not like <laughs> cheerfully drunk, drunk and like. Meh, um, she's no, cheerfully kind of like happy. enjoying her space that she's in. Yeah, like a sort of flower power hippie sort of. <laughs> <laughs> just full, just dancing and throwing ribbons everywhere. And the, I mean, I, I've been to a lot of parties. I don't really see them that that uh, that kind of thing happening that often. Nah, you but need you need to get out more. <laughs> uh, so there's where I. That's where you had to jump across. To, yeah, to you're not going to make that jump. You're not going to make I, it. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, like those red ribbons, kind of like that's what was kind of coming off of the queen. So is that actually a tower leading up to her? Oh well, no, I mean, it seems to be at the end on every tower. Yeah. So I'm assuming I. Ooh, hello. Weirdly. Terrifyingly electrified thingy. Oh. Oh! And then there's one up here, I see. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Huh. You actually jumped yourself up to the next platform. So you could go down and go over that, or you can just take a left yeah, and go through the gap. Yeah, I feel if I did jump down there, I would now probably die. So you're going to take the gap around inside? Yeah, I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to. Yeah, go up here. Yeah. 
I do like the way the camera does cut through the walls. Ah, uh, well, imagine if you were in the VR headset, you could lean in closer or move back, no matter how much you want to see through the wall. Uh, I think it's actually to accommodate for people who want to, who actually purposely want to try to break this camera. Much, I'm thinking of pretty much anywhere that is that color is something I obviously have to interact with. Yeah. I think. I think you need to get through the gap. No, I might. Um. Is there any? Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, okay. So to now I was going to try and bounce off the wall. <laughs> and off into the empty space. Have, uh, Went up really badly. There you go. Through the hole. Look in your hole! Oh, so you can actually get a wall jump? Yep. Very cool. Take that, Prince of Persia. <laughs> and make oh, he has, he has the sand of time, so he allows himself to actually like recover from bad falls. You just actually just respawn. Wow, it actually does let you just keep bouncing up if you actually and can get the angle. And sort of do like, some parrots. Spinning around anything. <laughs> Spinning right. I think you actually got you got the more accomplished name first, and then actually worked your way backwards. Yeah. Pure ways. Par parrots. Parrots. Oh my parrots. God. All right. Wow. I've just de evolved. <laughs> I think there's more discombobulate going on there. Oh, this is actually yeah, mildly that, nauseating, actually. If you're that like, is kind of very disorienting because I'm trying to move the camera back around and it's not let me do it. Uh, well, I mean, there's uh, strategic camera angles to show off the pretty things. The best thing is, it will keep you on there unless you jump up. And then that's, that's so you can actually tumble and roll all the way along? Oh, I, don't nice. know about, I don't know about, I'll try the roll. Yeah, I don't know if I could have done that halfway across because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I definitely would have died. You didn't. Oh, look at, uh, no, I was going to try and jump up that. <laughs> oh, from wall to wall. Yep, wall dust. Wall jump into the void. <laughs> oh, you can't speed climb, that's okay. Oh, so you can actually use the same run button for that as well? Yep. Fair enough. Oh, God. Boss battle! <laughs> hey! Oh, fuck. Um. No, I can't help but notice a lot of these tiles are They moving. move when you move? Yep. Oh, right. So they actually they make contact with each other, and then the next one moves on whenever you move further along. So you've actually got double steps there to jump across. I don't think that's. I think it's more like a puzzle. Because if I move that to there. They touch over there with dominoes. I can go forward, and is this one of my wall things? No. There is a platform on the other side of that. Oh, it does move forward as well? Oh no, it's just moving with. No, just side to side. Okay. Now, maybe the black ones will... No, they do move forward! Alright. You, you just gotta balance your sort of... your movement. Huh. Oh, okay. Whoops. Oh, fuck, <laughs> that is a bad guy! He's just like, hello there! Oh, it's like a chessboard. Right. Only he can swipe. He can fucking kill me. He just kill me. I don't know. He just swiped at you. Oh, what is this? Uh, oh, the first uh, construction. Yeah, but you can you can move around. Oh, whoa! I was gonna say it's the. I was joking. Gonna say it's the first. Like a loading screen. Of the ma matrix. <laughs> matrix look like. oh. It looks like it actually. So it's like a father and children playing chess. Faja? Hello, Faja. Faja Hello, Maja. Hello, Faja. Here I am at Camp Granada. <laughs> hey, let's race at Camp Granada. So it's obviously like so recreating some scene. So is this kind of like all like a digital recreation, maybe? Oh, there's a door. There's a way out. You know, the kids are having a good time. That's why. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Build. Oh, it, is, it does build it. No, not yeah, really. it's just tested that wee bit of the rim, just that's it. Okay, is that the limit of our experience of bound? Did I die? I don't think you died. Well, I think you, think you walked in through the door to the well, the thing swiped at you, killed you, and you actually saw heaven for a moment. Oh, baby, know what that's worth. Oh, heaven not is bad. a place on oh, earth. No, 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 it's loading, it's loading, everyone's dead. Or it's taking me back to the back to the main screen. Well, oh fuck you! I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get that thing. <laughs> you wanna do I'm it? Gonna, again? I'm gonna yeah. If I don't spend the two times I died dying. <laughs> so you're gonna take a you're gonna I, take a north stab this I, because I, do you think you, you don't think that was actually like a predetermined cutscene that actually happened? Oh, because it did kind of like the screen narrowed and then the guy swooped, swiped at you. Yeah, but I got close to him. 
Maybe, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not open. Avenge her or something. Okay. Avenge me, Simba. I gotta get. <laughs> Save me, Kimba. Uh, Simba. Kimba. Kimba the White Lion. Let's see if I can skip. No, can't. Oh, can't. So, uh, you probably can't skip there. No, but I the can't. um. So yeah, Bound. It's a. Uh, it, it's a gorgeously put together kind of like platform adventure game. I love the character animation. I could see this being a lot of fun with the PlayStation VR just because it's it's a platform experience that actually kind of like just gives you a weird perspective on it. Yep. Like I can imagine some of the puzzles later on, like you could you solve those by having to get too close to a wall to be able to notice something. But if you're actually like in a puzzle you can't figure out at all, I could imagine making use of uh, the VR camera to look around, look around edges and look around the edge of a screen can probably solve things for you. I mean, the way he actually like flicked over the chest piece in this, I think this is actually must be a cutscene. But I wouldn't mind seeing you going out around the edge of the board and not standing on those steps. But you know, like, you can like grab. Oh, that's what I plan off. on doing. Ah, see, see, great minds think alike. But uh, it's, it. this game is day. gorgeous. Well, I don't want him to die. What? Well, yeah, I fucking do want to see him die. <laughs> I wonder is the game always in this kind of like semi-Spartan white rivered world? Is it always in this place, or does it actually? change in a way because it seems like there's other towers obviously in this yeah, place I went up I went up that way what's to stop me from uh, yeah probably the gap yeah there's no way to get across that <laughs> no so I imagine this is a very linear game you want to start doing a little bit of exploring and especially when I can do stuff like this go up walls and all i probably should but there's not really much for me to bounce up there. that's what i was gonna say like if you can see two walls that are close together it makes it worthwhile but otherwise it seems a bit difficult it's also in fact you know like a red object for things that you're actually meant to be traveling along it sends you like almost like guidelines ah nice nice little tour there like a little, little hop thank you i like that i like it a lot a right, big jumps for you pure badness i know i can do those three yeah. cartwheels i'm gonna see if i can do the roll okay Oh, Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, that was actually kind of impressive. Ooh, I was worried there. <laughs> oh, look. That's him up in the back. That's him ahead. Oh, so that's, yeah, that's him ahead. So that's what it was whenever we saw him. He actually thinks he runs further. And he must have broke the steps to stop you from following. That's why you have to take this other route. Imagine if you press, like, circle or something and drop off that. Oh, we slide down. Ah, yeah, there you go. You can speed run this now. You got you, since you've got your this is now done. Game's done quick now. You're at your on pace for an actual like world record run through of this demo. Oh, come on, son of a bitch. <laughs> Must move faster. Can I jump across this gap? Jump up the ladder. Jump up the ladder. Don't lose any time. Um, the ladder's building in front of me. If I jump up in front of ahead of myself, it may not be there for me to catch. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Ah, they would think about that in the game. They would have made sure there was something to cover it. Ah, uh, well, that's true. So, see the way everything's done in squares, segments, triangles, these divided parts? Um, it doesn't seem that they're quite... I mean, there's a rhythmic pattern to them. Yep. And the way they actually separate apart. But it doesn't seem to be like every piece is made exactly the same way. Uh, Do you notice that? It's kind of like a, they are like solid sheets until the moment they have to be tessellated away like that. Even though we touched it that... Oh, you can! Oh, you can jump up quite high in it. So even if um you <laughs> if you were wearing I'm the VR eat your soul. oh shit <laughs> nearly jumped up yeah well done <laughs> but you would have actually just recovered from that point anyway but the uh, the way <laughs> it tears apart VR wise you notice that it actually does like whenever it's close to the camera all right here's it the actually does now. it in the ears so you can imagine if you're wearing headsets it would be very immersive all right so either you go around the left hand side or around the right hand side as deep as you can. Yeah. Away from him. Where was... Oh, there's the statue. You went straight ahead whenever... Like, yep. Oh. See, how far around can you go? Can you actually get off the edge of the board and around him? I don't think you can. Although, that's the side where his claws. There you go. Just walk along that wall. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, yeah. come on! It is cutscene, so I just pulled you ahead to the middle of that. <laughs> yeah, you're, it was a very, very clever choice to make, but I think there actually is a very linear direction that this is meant to be going in. Because it's actually almost like an introduction to the game. 
Normally, I'd be stubborn enough to go and try it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fact that otherwise we'd actually be wasting our viewers' time more than anything else. I'm pretty sure that that looks like a predetermined cutscene because it literally jumped you across the goddamn screen to that point. Damn you, kids. Damn you and your goddamn chest. Get the fuck out of my life. I'm just going to go walk through the door and go to heaven. That's a very salmon shirt. Yeah. There you go. Honey? The door to Tell heaven me? opens. Emily? Why won't you? Can you guys hear me? It's mommy. Hi. All you can do is walk around. Uh, the level doesn't do any more. The, the memory, I guess. Yeah. Flashback. Doesn't Flash grow anymore. Forward? It seems to be like, it seems to be like you're almost like filling in the little edges around it, but that's about it. Yeah, that is not... Come on, fill them in, fill them in, come on, come on. Yeah, it's falling in just parts of it. Yeah. Like where you step. It, it is doing it slowly though, but I, I feel like, if, um, like that's where I've just been. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. If I walk around, if I lap. It'll, some of it'll be gone again. Will, will it be gone again or will it actually fill in the whole thing? Because I mean, some of that floor is now falling in <laughs> completely. But I think it's actually literally the angle. See the light? The light edges are telling you where the last of the... Uh, floor is yeah. Like, well, it's not a fact. I don't think it's uh, it's loading. I just think it's actually a uh, rendering. It's intentionally rendering to look like it's actually being partially remembered in fragments. Yeah, see, now it's it is filled in the whole room. I could stay there until the whole room's filled in. But Jesus Christ, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, viewers. I I just like to have a floor with my kids and husband. Yes, your dead, your digital husband who I mean, plays chess with your children. Dead. Like, do you know what? That that uh, he looks like the kind of guy who actually wouldn't let his children win either. They did look like a dick. I mean, just from the shirt alone. <laughs> you listen to the I don't judge video? men on the color of their shirts. I judge them on the way they treat their children in games of chess. You still look like a dick. <laughs> um, so I, what do you think, Bound? I would get addicted to that. I think I would get eventually addicted to that game. I just you, you like the concept. You like the. I like the pace because it actually is fairly genteel. Mm -hmm. But uh, I imagine it actually being it's. It, this is an experience, not a game. Something that you. You don't really die. Yeah, I, had to, I had to just try it. Oh, to see okay, how it connects. Yeah, see yeah. what it said. So yeah, bound with a Ooh. VR experience. Um, maybe we'll come back to this with a VR headset at a later point. But as it is now, um, unless I uh, unless I pause it, they unless Santa Monica Studio would like to send us another level so I can play and not be <laughs> swiped off goddamn giant chessboard. Well, uh, uh, we'll retry out to Santa Monica Studio see how they feel about that. I'll give um, a retweet. Yeah, or uh, well, to be honest, they'll be, they'll be tagged in this video as well, more than likely, mm -hmm. whenever I post up stuff like this. But um, yeah, either that or whenever the game goes on sale somewhere on Steam sales. Like, this is the kind of game that actually will be full price for a while, and whenever the VR starts to drop in price, the v and the first batch of VR game compatible games go down in price, this will probably be joined on that list. So it'll be below yeah. the £10 mark, I'm sure, within it's, a few it's, months. It's, it's, it is a really nice game, though. It is quite... Um... I'm, I'm glad to see kind of like actual gameplay experiences... Even if it's uh, only with you as a lack of two floating like around a, behind a more people. Polished version of um, Longmore Man. You know put the that's ex actually yeah. It really you know, that's is actually really the Longmore Man. That's what it looks like. This world only you know what actual sort of good graphics. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access, denied, access, access granted. <laughs> Welcome to Santa Monica Studios. Damn it! <laughs> that's where he got trapped. He got trapped. That's him behind the mask. He says you're like that's why he's so sad. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, that's him on the board. Oh, yeah, that's wiping you off. Ah, Job. Damn you, Job. Like, Lawnmower Man 2 actually was a terrible film. But the first one is a true classic. Yeah, it has virtual orgasm in it. That's right. Oh, how many movies had virtual um, orgasms in the 90s? Because there was Demolition Man. There was that. There was... Dallas had a virtual orgasm. <laughs> probably Johnny Mnemonic as well. Probably oh, that's just, that's just Keanu Reeves giving his o -fius while he was actually probably, on the Probably, uh... Oh, Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe, we've talked Virtuosity. about Yes. Yes, that, that one, I'm pretty sure that one's in there as well. Oh, that's right, because the guy has, that's the whole reason why he gets out of the system, is because the guy wants to make a sex pot. So we've beyond, we beyond and moved off from Bound and started talking about VR technology in general. Guys, if you enjoyed this conversation, you want to hear more like this, you can, of course, probably watch the vlog channel for more conversations about oh, VR. Yeah. But uh, if you like this conversation, you like this game, you can see me and Will again. If you want to hit the subscribe button up there, um, that'd be really, really nice. You can actually get to see videos as they come out live here on the channel. If you like it, um, thank you very much. If you uh, comment on this, you have all the love in my world. You have the love inside my heart. And if you share it, well, you can have Will's first more. 
I think oh, that's it. Like, second, offered... second born. Oh yeah, because the other video actually yeah. was the first born. Yeah, so I mean, maybe I'll need to stop actually adding up to that every single I, time. Because I can only. Oh, no, I suppose... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I can that's just keep producing. Just gonna get graphic. That's gonna get graphic. No. So like I said, subscribe button pops up up there, and over on this side, over the top of Will's head, there actually is videos from uh, previous to play this and other games we played here on the channel. Go and check those out as well if you want to see more. And just to make Darren mark, work more, work some more, our uh, Twitter handle down here, or a hashtag. Hey, you are an asshole. It's right down here. All right, so at Real Will Convy, Real right Convy. there. And of course, Passage of Skin, same as always for me. So I think that, yes, guys, I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye. Bye. Woo.